Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to do a quick update. We've had uh, four T's molt over the last handful of days. You really can't see her all that well, but this is the um, Terranochilus marinus. Um, this is the my bigger of the two. Uh, finally found her molt. Uh, actually, I was kind of digging around to see if she was still okay, and I lifted up her hide. She came out much bigger than what she was before, um, and I uh, found her molt in there. So I, it was really soft and pliable, so she had probably molted that night. I felt kind of bad. This is the second time I've done this to her, but uh, she's definitely a female, and um, so she kind of like dug right there underneath the arm now and webbed up a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that she actually webs. I'm going to throw some more things in here for her to... Uh, to cling to but I took out that big huge statue face <clears throat> because uh you know I I didn't really ever see her now, not that I really need to but I, I just like to know that they're okay sometimes so um, I'm probably gonna put some sticks or something in here for her and then she can figure out where she wants to go and live I gotta I gotta figure out where what I want to put in I don't want to put flat bark in there I want to put sticks so she can I want her to web this up what I want her to do so yeah, this, this would have been two days ago that she molted, so, I, again, I kind of felt bad that I yanked her out, but uh, that's one, um, and I'll show you the other three. Okay, here is the Uapalastris campistratus. Um, God, the thing is just gorgeous. Um, he ripped the molt. We're still thinking it's a he, but he pretty much shredded the abdominal part of the molt, so they couldn't sex him at all. But uh, last last molt, I'm pretty sure that what we had there was a male. So, yeah, he molted three days ago. But he is so vibrant right now. It's, you know, you really can't see. You know, the, the filming doesn't really do it justice because uh, the, the hairs don't, aren't as pink as what, you know, what they actually are in, in person. I, I know a lot of you guys can tell that but you guys that do filming you guys and gals actually do filming um it is hard for the transfer of video to actually pick up real crisp pictures with some of the things that we use to film them with so that's him Here is one of my favorite spiders, and this is my Brachypelma homori. This is Obi. He is definitely a male. There was absolutely zero indications of female whatsoever. Flat as a pancake inside the uh, abdomen, but he's looking fantastic. You can see um, his carapace there is lacking some of the black towards the back part, um, which I don't know if that'll come in later on. You know, he'll get more coloring later on or not, but I was pretty excited about him molting because it's been a while and and you know he looked miserable he was he was pretty plump uh, pretty dark pretty shiny so he molted the same day actually he molted first and then the Uapalastris campestras molted later that day so that's him last but not least uh, the Nandu chromatis finally molted look how vibrant his colors are and when I saw him, he molted sometime last night uh, I think it was about 2 o'clock in the morning I was up and uh, I noticed him flip back over with the skin in there so uh, he was away from the skin right at the entrance of his little cave here you could see the molt mat that he made but uh, yeah he, he came out okay um, and until his until he actually started you know hardening up just a tad bit there his back abdomen looked like he was ready to molt again uh, it was all black and shiny and uh, it looks like it settled down a little bit and dulled down, but his colors are really, really vibrant on his legs. You know, the uh, the skeleton patterns there. Um, this is my son's spider. Uh, we've had him for two years. He's probably right at that four-inch mark. So I'm going to say probably penultimate. I would say probably the next molt will probably be his last. Uh, maybe we'll have one more. I'm not sure. He didn't really gain too much size. I think he only gained about a half an inch, maybe. Uh, didn't really, like I said, didn't really particularly 
gain too much. So, yeah, I spent this morning packing up uh, the shipment for today, which is the three mature males, uh, the Brachypelma albopilosum, Dolcofeli diamantinensis, and the Trixotrichus scrofa. Um, we've had some mix-ups with uh, the stuff that's coming in. You know, we've changed it a few times um, because of some, I don't want to say mistakes, maybe oversights on his part. Um, like I said up before, I was supposed to get an Amelia and a Mori and a Sazame and a Baumgart Tenny and then four Darlingi. So he apparently sold the Amelia and Hamori thought he had more and he didn't. So he offered a Sturmy in place of those two and the Sazame, and I just didn't want the Sturmy. So what we settled on was, I think I said this in the last video, was the Baumgart Tenny. The, I think I dropped down to three Darlingi. Um, he wanted to send me some B wagons for free, and I, I already have some coming, so I don't want to deal with that. But um, And I was supposed to get a Haplopelma uh, Schmitty, I think, not Schmitty, Van, Van Worthy. But it molted yesterday. As he was getting ready to pack up, he went to grab that one and found it freshly molted, so we can't ship that one. So we changed that one to um, a Tapanikini, a species Columbia. And then I also have the uh, Kilobrachys fimbriatus coming in. So I was a little upset because, uh, you know, the Von Worthy was something different that I didn't have. But uh, that's okay. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, again, I'm going to do some major downsizing here. I want to get down to 60 or less by fall. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that, that moves. Um, I have a... Uh, we settled uh, with... KCT Tarantulas, uh, Mike, I think his name is, if I remember, Mike Fairless. Um, he's his mature male, Afonopelma calcodes. Well, he, he, his Afonopelma calcodes mature male, matured, but I can't speak. So he is going to send him to me. I'm going to pay to ship him here. And uh, hopefully my lady molts soon so that we can pair them in the fall. And uh, then I will send him some slings um, if the mating is successful. So we try to work out trade, but I, I think he was just, you know, um, more interested in just uh, sending him someplace to, to do his duty. So that's kind of exciting to get to do a uh, breeding project with a fellow YouTuber. And um, um, I think tomorrow I'll be sending the assassin bugs to Trey. I'm going to get it with him today, get his information, and get those sent out. And next week, I will be sending out the other mature, mature male, Dalekotheli diamantinensis, to John Sanchez. So that's uh, this week's happenings. Um, you know, just a few feedings that I've done over the weekend. Um, for Pactera Pulpies, I tried to get footage of her. I gave her a nice, uh, juicy... Uh, Mario worm right at the entrance of her cave and she just grabbed it and pulled it back in so I didn't really get any footage of her the uh, Pamphobedius platyamo platyama platyoma platyoma um, fed her uh, again the, the roach went right underneath her cave so I didn't get footage of her and I think I fed a few slings and the wolf spiders were fed um, the mantis I uh, tried, I gave it the smallest cricket I have, and it's not, I think it's still too big for it. So I'm going to stop and grab some lightless fruit flies, which I really don't want to do because they're just a pain to deal with. But I'm going to have, I got to feed it, so I got to figure out something small enough to feed it. I put some mesh in it. <coughs> I'm put the lid back on him so he doesn't decide that he wants to go for a walk, but I put some mesh inside of it for it to crawl on and it's doing the normal upside down mantis um, I think he's up at the top very top this morning when I saw him now he's not up there right now he was doing the hanging upside down mantis so I think that's kind of I don't know if that's how they sleep or if they sleep I'm sure they sleep but there's the cricket see the cricket's big and 
Where is he? There he is. He's not, he's not going to focus because he's too small, but yeah, that cricket's just a tad bit too big for him, so I'm going to have to get that out. So, of course, I'm still on second shift this week, so I'm going to leave a little early to get this package sent out. Um, that's going to Adam Erickson in, I think he's in Washington, the state, Washington. So, I now have that enclosure empty. I got two baseball cubes and another thing I need to fill. I got to figure out who I'm going to put in there. Probably the Bracky Palma Baggins, I think, is going to go in there. Um, either him or my female. Uh, probably him because or her because it'll, it'll it'll grow quicker than uh, my Dolph Jotheli Diamantinensis female. Only has about another inch inch and a half to go. So, yeah, my Carapolensis has pulled up almost every plant that I put down in there for her. I'm going to add some dirt. You could see the right in the corner there where it's up. You know, there's really no cover for her, so I'm going to kind of slope the dirt down right here. Just slope it down a little bit on both sides, so there's kind of like a hill there of dirt for her to just go inside. I'm saying her, I'm hoping I couldn't sex her molt, but uh, I'm going to take a look at everybody here today. We're going to do some my normal every few day checkups on uh, the ladies here. Um, oh, I fed her to Nando, Colorado. The Nando, Colorado Velosis I fed her to. But uh, this little one here probably needs to be fed again, looking kind of skinny in the butt. Um, I was up last night. I'm dealing with my ulcerative colitis. I'm going to have to go on another round of steroids. But I think this one here... This is the, well, you can't really see her. Close to the Theria Miranda. I think this is the next one that we'll be waiting for on a molt. Um, everybody else is doing great, though. I gotta feed the centipede and uh, gotta feed the Acanthus curia gina colada that molted. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do some thinking of what, how I wanna take my collection here into next year you know I, I don't think I'll move any of my Avix my Metallica or my Rufa or my Carabina Versicolor or the Eberpora Suratoma um, probably no pokies are going to go um, I may drop uh, definitely my pulpers are not going anywhere but I may drop one of the uh, Samuel Pace Reduncus um, I may move a GBB because I have two that are males. Uh, definitely a Bracky. That will is going to have to move. Uh, I still have three, my well, four of them right now. The mature male's going away. He was the fifth, but I have four. And uh, we'll see. Oh, another one that's probably in pre-molt because it's sealed itself in is the Enser Cretello Olivacea. Um, that little spider has sealed itself in, and this is a sibling of a friend of mine, and hers molted, I think, two weeks ago. So I would imagine that this one's probably close to being ready to molt also. Oh, and I forgot one more. Yeah, this one excites me, because I think we're starting to really... There is... Pilma Sazame molted again, which I mean, I'm kind of excited because we could start. I'm actually starting to see some little bit of the blue. I don't know what, what it did with its molt. I was going to take it out, but it was on the other side of the spider if it brought it out or not. But um, it's molting rather frequently, actually. And well, it might be underneath the spider. I'm not really quite sure. Um, the molt was back here, so I didn't have anywhere to get it. Now I don't see it. I don't see that you brought it out either. But yeah, I'm hoping this one's a female because uh, they're they're a pretty cool spider. So with the, you know, so my my 
really first two attempts. I mean, I, I can't say my first two attempts because I did breed the Cereocosmus aurea, or what was known as Berte, successfully but unsuccessfully. I mean, she bred successfully. She just didn't do the uh, sack right. So I would imagine that the Calcodes will probably be my, be my actual first, but I just need to get her to molt. Um, because she's rather large now, and with my luck, I'll go check her, and there'll be a sack in there now. <laughs> but, and then the Hensei's, um, hoping that Morris will molt here by the end of summer so that he's ready for fall, and uh, she'll be ready. Monterey will be ready for him. So that's uh, that's where we're at today. She'll, it's, uh, I think, 11 o'clock now. Um, I'm going to leave in about an hour to uh, get this package sent off and go do the few things i got to do before I go to work. Um, looks like I'll probably have to take another round of steroids for my colitis. This happens like every few months where I get flare-ups and they're, they get kind of bad and they get pain and I'm going to the bathroom a lot. So the only way to stop that is to get my, you know, put steroids into my body and um, that'll help fight the swelling in my intestines, but, uh, yeah, so I expect the package from Adam to be here Wednesday. Um, depending on when it gets here, though, I probably won't be able to pick it up until Thursday. I'm hoping that it comes in before I have to go to work on Thursday. So I can grab it, go to work, and then bring him home and open everybody up, so. I will uh, show everybody that stuff when it comes in. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.